Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a part two of my Sephora haul. I apologize in advance, like right off the bat, for the obnoxiousness. Obnoxiousness. My fish tank is super loud right now because I think the water needs to be topped up. So I am really sorry about that. But if you watched my last video, I did say that I was going to have a part two of my Sephora haul, which I do. And that's only because um, when I was placing my order, my first order, I had everything in my cart. But I checked in a little bit too late. Like I wanted to check out and the sale had already been active only for like an hour. And a few things from my cart had sold out. So um, I was patiently waiting and hoping that they came back in stock and a couple of the things that I wanted did come back in stock and then also um, just a couple things that weren't there like they released some new things that I saw and wanted to try. So basically I don't have to explain myself. Um, I save my money each year for the sale and I try to only get the things that I need during the sale. Um, obviously throughout the year I'll get like a couple small items maybe like restock on like an eyebrow pencil or a lip balm or some like small things like that but most of my skincare like for sure I only get during the sale because it's more expensive so basically I've been waiting for this and I needed this and this is my part two if you want to see my part one I will leave it down below um and yeah let's just get into what I got so I think it's the biggest haul like ever hold on I'm always scared to have lipstick on my teeth, but I'm pretty sure this is the biggest haul I've ever done on my channel, and that's honestly because um, last, like usually, I will admit I was a little bit bad at shopping throughout the year. Like I wouldn't always wait only for the sale. Like I did get most of my items, but I would shop through the year. And 2019 specifically was like a huge year of using what I had. So basically like this year I've been pretty good and I've been using up items that I had before buying new ones and trying not to give into the hype. So really like it seems like a lot in this sale but it's because I'm trying to only buy what I need during the sale and not really throughout the year. So off the bat I have two boxes just because they ship separately and honestly shipping was really long but I mean it's understandable because of what's going on. The first thing I got is called, it's random, like a couple of these items are random, but I really needed them in my life. This is called Skin Fix Eczema Hand Repair Cream. And if you saw my last haul, again, I will link it down below, I'm going to stop saying that now. But basically, I got the First Aid Beauty, um, the Ultra Repair Cream, I think it's called. It's, I just got the mini size. And that's, it's okay, like it won't go to waste because the good thing about the First Aid Beauty one is that you can use it for your body or your face, so it won't go to waste. But it's not as hydrating as I was hoping for because my hands are really dry right now, especially because of what's going on. I'm washing and sanitizing my hands so many times, um, and my hands are really, really dry. So I was researching like good hand creams, and I saw a lot of people talk about this, and it has the Allure, like it won the Allure um, Award two years for 2015 and for 2017 and it had really good reviews so I'm hoping that this hand cream is better I haven't tried it yet because I just got these packages in the mail but I ordered that because I really do need a good hand cream and to be honest with you hand cream is something that will never go to waste because I always have one in my bag my diaper bag my nightstand like everywhere in my house um, because I have dry skin and I wash my hands a million times a day so Another thing I got from Skin Fix, this brand in general seemed to have really good reviews and it seemed to be like really good body care products. So this is called the Resurface AHA Renewing Cream and this is for your body and it says it's clinically proven, clinically proven to smooth dry, rough, bumpy skin. So I got this to share with my son, for me and my son, because it has AHA blend, which is like a... Uh, I think it's like to exfoliate your skin so basically the reviews were saying this was really good for like what they call chicken skin which is like those bumpy like bumpy skin my son suffers from that a lot on his like the tops of his arms he gets like these bumps and his knees I also get it a little bit on my arms but also so I read reviews saying it was good for that and then because we've tried so many lotions for him and they haven't really worked so I'm hoping this works but then also um, some of the reviews were saying that it's all because of the AHA in it it's also good for like body acne and like I said 
said TMI, but in my last video, I did say that I suffer from acne on my back, especially when I'm working out, which I am. Um, it's just something I've always struggled with. And the reviews said that this helped with that and the chicken skin. So I figured I would chicken skin. I don't know what it's actually called. He hasn't got it like diagnosed, but he has like those little bumps. Anyways, it said that it's good for both of those things, so I'm really hoping um, it works. This brand is vegan and cruelty-free, and it had so many good reviews. So I decided to try those two things, and then I just restocked on a couple face masks. This is the Dr. Jart um, Shake and Shot. This is the firming one. I've tried the Hydra one, and I love it. The packaging looks gimmicky, but it's cute, and it's a really fun um, mask to do at home. And this one I've never tried, but it's the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. I wanted to try it, so I decided to try it during the sale. And since we're at home now, um, if you watched my like um, surviving quarantine video, I love having like little pamper sessions at nighttime just because we're home all the time. And I mean, it can get to you. So I love doing that, especially now that we have more time. So I restocked on those face masks. Next up, I guess let me start with this. Whew. The wind just blew my door open and it freaked me the hell out a lot. You know, like, um, if we have all the windows open, sometimes that will happen. It's like a wind tunnel or whatever. Anyways, let's get back into it. I ordered the full size of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've gone through a mini of this. I used up the entire mini, and I love it. So I decided to get the full size because I like to compare. Sometimes the mini ends up being the same amount as buying a full size. But in this case, the mini was a lot more expensive. So I didn't want to buy another mini. It just didn't make it make sense and I feel like this will last me forever because you only need a little bit and I, like I said the mini did last me a pretty long time but because I loved it and I used all of it up I decided to get a full size I use it for me and when I do makeup for other people I use it for them too and I love it and then I picked up this this is the pharmacy cheer up brightening vitamin C eye cream um I'm gonna be honest with you so this had good reviews and I, I watched another YouTuber um, who suggested it. I'm not gonna open it up, but it's basically a vitamin C under eye cream. It has caffeine and vitamin C, so it's supposed to brighten dark circles and that kind of stuff. Um, but this isn't what I wanted. I really wanted a vitamin C serum, but the one that I wanted went out of stock and it hasn't come back in stock yet. So that kind of sucks. So I just did this as like, I don't know. I did it as like an alternative to still get some kind of vitamin C for under eyes but I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this I'll try it out but I really wanted a vitamin C serum for all over the face but like I said the one that I wanted did it sold out and it didn't come back in stock yet so that sucks so I I got that instead but I'm kind of having like buyer's remorse because I don't know I just feel like I'd rather something for the whole face rather than the under eye this is basically I, I don't know we'll see but I would rather something for the whole face to target my whole face rather than just my under eyes basically and then this is the last thing that I got. The rest of the stuff in here are just samples. So this was something that most of the other items I had in my cart and I had planned to buy. This I didn't, but um, it was one of like the new releases and it's like a value set. So I love when they release these and I love looking at like how much it's sold for versus like how much it's worth. And this was a really good bang for your buck. So it sold for, I think it's $150 Canadian, which I know sounds like a lot, but the value is $217. So basically you only pay for maybe like the essence and this guy, what is this? The face cleanser and you essentially get two of these um, like full size masks, uh, creams. They're 30 mil each and these creams value are like a hundred bucks each. So you basically get these for free. It's a really good value and I got it because of this. So I brought these out to literally justify and show you, but this is the, um, this came in perfect timing is basically what I'm saying. I ordered this in perfect timing because I was going to replace this, which is my Caudalie Essence. This is the one I was using before and I literally, as you can see, I'm out. So I was going to buy a new one of that anyways. And then also this is the night cream that I used before. This is the Origins High Potency Nitamins and yeah. I needed a new one so basically I was on there and I was like I know I've already spent a lot but I'm out of two of my things that I use every day so I was going to repurchase them when I saw this and this comes with a full size of the fresh black tea kombucha essence and then it comes with a firming night cream which could replace my vitamins night cream 
and then also a firming overnight mask so fresh i've tried some of their stuff before i haven't tried everything but it's a brand that i wanted to dive into so i'm really excited to try this and like i said the value for this set like you get a lot it's bang for your buck and i was really really happy about that i was going to order the tatcha essence which the essence tatcha essence alone is 125 dollars i think so yeah this was really good and i'm pretty excited about it in my last video i did um pick up a mini fresh night cream to try anyways to replace my origins um but i'm gonna end up returning that because obviously i got these ones like basically for free in the kit so i don't need that one and this should last me like the entire year because this essence literally lasted me so long a little over a year because you only need a tiny bit so it's a lot but it should it should last me until next year so again that's awesome and i do have one more thing coming and it's just one of the fenty cream um their new cream blushes but i didn't want to wait for that because it's literally just one item and the shipping is taking forever so i did order that cream blush because i love cream products for the summertime and also i love fenty brand in general so when i saw that she released that during the sale i was like you know what let me pick one up i think they were like 25 dollars um before the sale so that's literally the last thing coming and then i am returning a couple things that i ordered from my last purchase but yeah that's everything after this i do think i'm gonna do an update um like on some of the stuff that i purchased to give you an update and like a review on them because i have tried out a lot of stuff and i do have some opinions but let me know if you want to see that anyways this was a lot of rambling i hope you guys liked the video if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one